Puck dropped with 24 seconds left on the power play for the Marauders. They have it on the point with Kyle da or excuse me, Kevin Danaher. Goes down into the corner as St. Joe's tries to get something going. 16 seconds left on the main advantage. Chance in front, but it's over the top. And Walter couldn't even get a stick to it, but it stays in the zone for the Marauders. Chance in front, but it's blocked by the defense. Tardif was there. Now a shot from the left side, and it looks like it hits the defender in front again. Taking it for the team there was Max Papili. And it looks like it did not tickle, as they say, in the business. Over the blue line as Shen has survived the penalty. And with just under 10 minutes left, we are back to even strength hockey here at the Don Koff Memorial. Tardif in neutral ice, can't get the handle. And now Shen Ho will bring it back on the far side. Bring it in, now the hand will go up as Marr had it for a second. Shen Ho is gonna bounce it back in the neutral ice, trying to get the extra skater on. They will do so. And they get it up eventually. No, they will not get it over to Mar on the right wing. And we're going to have a hold called against St. Joe's. So 1.30 this time on Roberto Amos, the senior defender was called for holding and Plainsman will have their first power play opportunity of the day. Out to the point, back and forth on the wing, in the circle, shot on, deflects off a few and it goes over to the right of goal. Ferraro has it on the right side, trying to play it out to the point, gets the Morka, Morka tries to play back to Ferraro. Not have the handle and eventually clearing for the Marauders is Michael Ionello. Nine minutes left, one minute left on the penalty for Shenanda Hall. Playing it down along the side boards and they eventually get it over to Kevin Miles. Miles will try to play it in, hits the side of the netting as they come back across with Tardif and he can't get the goal in as Malari covers for St. Joe's. 8.48 left to go in the first period. 49 seconds left on the power play for Shenanda Hall. Still 0-0 in this first round game of the Don Moth Memorial, or excuse me, Don Koff. Memorial to fired along the boards as they try and clear, but they're unable to do so. Ferraro will hold in. Morka on the right side, or excuse me, on the left side. And they'll play it into the corner. Miles has it. Kevin Miles takes it behind the crease. Trying to get something going. Has a head of steam. Gets a pass across to Morka. Morka gets a stick to it, but unable to get anything on. Now we have a shot up from Ferraro. Deflected in front, but wide to the right and down into the corner. Plainsman, a couple of shots on this power play. Their first opportunity with the extra skater this evening. And they're down to 19 seconds as the Marauders clear it the length of the ice. Shen plays back in up the right side behind the crease and now they will lose their power play. So back to even strength as they play directly in front of us. Mortka and Ionello going back and forth on that one. But we are back to even strength. Eight minutes left in the period. Neither team able to take advantage of early penalties. Turnover right here in the Marauder. Ice are going to have a chance to crush it. Oh, well, but it's eventually kicked away and then sticked away by Dimitrios Gogos for the Marauders. Gogos has it on his stick now coming up the right side and will flick through mid-ice. And he'll actually get one all the way down to Walter. Walter's going to have to cover this one up for stop to play. 7.29 left in the first period. Face off with Shen Ice and the Marauders will hold in. St. Joe playing behind the crease. They get it on Walter again. He'll cover this one up and we're going to have a quick stoppage here. Only eight seconds left. 721 left in the first period. So face off this time we won by Shen Ho. They'll get it out of the zone. 7.15 left in the period. We're in neutral ice right now. On the left side is Quigley, and he goes down. And St. Joe's going to emerge with it and eventually go behind their own goal with Amos. Amos stopped at the back by Papili. He'll get the pass back out to Marr. Marr tries to play it across. Unable to get anything on target. And now St. Joe's will come up the left side 
with Bassett. Bassett trying to go across the ice, and they'll dump in and get a couple of new skaters on as Shen comes back up the left. They hit a skate of their own, and Quigley now plays it across the ice to an open Mar. Mar working on that side, unable to get anything going, back out into neutral ice. Now into the Marauder zone again as Shenandoah dumps in. Eventually shot around the boards by Tyler Crawford, the assistant captain. Back in the neutral ice and emerging with it this time will be Hagner. Hagner up the right side for St. Joe's. St. Joe's goes behind the crease and can't get anything going there. And now it's going to be caught up in the corner. A couple of planes with a couple of Marauders going at it. It's going to eventually going to pop out and we are back in neutral ice once again. As Shin Ho is able to clear the zone. But only momentarily as Hagner grabs it, brings it in off the left. He's challenged there by Irving. Irving on the fence. And he will not get the puck away as he forces a pass, though. Now a shot from the point. Hits Walter and bounces into the corner. Into the corner again. Neither squad able to run it down just yet. Now the Marauders will have it and keep the pressure on. Walter coming out of the crease a little bit. He's out of position. Shot on, but they're unable to get anything through the defense. And St. Joe's had an opportunity there, but unable to cash in. This time in the corner will be Hagner. Hagner looking to pass. Gets it across the ice and try and keep it in his Schmidt. Schmidt's going to get another shot on. This one's going to go wide to the left and no danger this time. Shinoho trying to clear the zone. 5.25 left in the first period. And the Plainsman will eventually get clear and it'll allow a couple of skaters to change for both sides. Schmidt at the back plays a long one up ice over a couple of lines, but it's tapped and Shinoho is going to have to icing waved off here as skaters change for both. Quick shot on, another chance in front, rebound loose, but behind the crease as Walter was there for only a moment and a whistle stops play. It looks like the goal came off the peg, so 5-0-1 left. We're still scoreless here in the Don Coff Memorial. So, face off off to Walter's right. Controlled eventually by Shenandoah. Oh, taking it behind will be Peter Sachs. And he'll play it out to neutral ice, and St. Joe's will play it in quickly, and that's going to be a delayed offside. But Shenandoah is able to clear it back out of their zone. Now they'll go the length of the ice this time. They're going to wave off the icing, and playing it back out is Malari off the glass. Chance for St. Joe coming back the other way as Frenzel gets a chance in front. Chance again on the rebound. Once again. Off the pipe and off the pot, off the pegs, and we are still scoreless as Walter is able to find a friendly piece of iron. 4:30 left in the first period. 